in the late 90s, Mattel wanted to offer something nicer for the adult collectors. They came out with these, which were known as Cool Collectibles. They had uh, multiple pieces, rubber tires, opening features. This woody here, the Firewood Custom 50 Buick. I think this one was uh, limited to Mervins. I think it was found at Mervins. They're not around anymore, but it has opening hood. And that grill piece is separate. It's not part of the base. They were uh, $7.99, I seem to recall. Now already, this is 2012, so this was uh, 1998. So that's uh, 14 years ago. So you can't, they can't offer this anymore for $7.99. Give you an idea of the package size. Here's a regular Hot Wheels package. It was a little tall. So they tightened it up a little bit came out with the uh, smaller box but as you can see still had the jewel case in there so if you wanted to take it out you can display it with this little jewel box this one is copyright 1998 as well some of them had the uh, had like a uh, stickers on them didn't really tell you how many they made. This one's cool. Look, number 777. Must have been lucky. They didn't say uh, how many were made. It was really the emphasis on the quality. Now, these, after a while, started to be called 100%. That's what they were uh, branded as, 100%, instead of the cool collectibles. They lasted for a few years. And then Mattel went to, I think it seems like they took a year or two a break, but they still had the tools, so they tried to relaunch the program. What they did is they came out with these oil cans. Collectors didn't really like them. They kind of took a lot of space. But what was cool about them is that they really made for a nice little showroom for the car. Once again, multiple pieces. Rubber tires on uh, all of them as far as I know. But they had two different kinds of these oil cans. As you can tell, this is just a, a cardboard top. What's the copyright on this one? Oh, another thing about these. These things were a pain in the butt. To, if you want to get your car out, if you like to display them loose, it was a pain in the butt to get these things off. 2003, that was this one. This one right here is a 2003 as well. But what they did is they had two different ones. They had the cardboard top, and then they had these like uh, simulated rubber tops. And these were for uh, hobby stores and stuff. But Toys R Us is considered a hobby store. So these were available at uh, Toys R Us. Otherwise, they were available at online diecast dealers. Limited to 7,000 pieces, you can see there. And it kind of, it's kind of neat as a gift. Nice little display like that. But really from one car if you if you uh and and a hard to store, hard to stack. Collectors kind of didn't really care for we call them oil cans. But there were two oil, two pieces that were uh, pretty awesome to own. They were the uh snake and the mongoose. Rocket Oil Special. Limited to 5,000 pieces. Features a Spectre Flame paint. I don't remember uh, how these were made available. I know it's got the logo here for the uh, 35th anniversary of the show. I went to that show, so I don't remember if these were available at the show or if they were sold through uh, HotWheelsCollectors.com. I don't recall. This one's all right. Rocket Oil Special is uh, definitely a cool model. Uh, I try it. As far as I know, I have all of them. Not positive. But uh, definitely one of my favorite models to collect. It's not exactly a... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. The uh, regular versions of these with the uh, cardboard tops, they were about like $7.99, maybe $8.99. These were more expensive, $11, $12. Then they tried to relaunch them. They took a couple years off again, tried to relaunch them through Kmart, and it was not successful because they uh, had a $15 price point. 
it was just a little too much for collectors I guess to uh, to bear but uh, it's kind of neat to have in the collection nowadays these uh, multi-piece uh, it'd be nice if they came back but uh, most of them probably just gonna wind up coming through uh, Hot Wheels collectors.com their website anyways happy collecting and thanks for watching bye bye